Here with Chase and Blair back in Manchester where your MMA career started. Did you picture two and a half years later being at the top of a card like this? Uh, you know, this is, these are the moments train for every day. You know, at the MMA Fight Academy, we got all the Cage Warriors banners up. You know, you see all the, the greats that have come through the promotion. You know, what they've done in the UFC and at the highest levels of the sport. You know, those are the guys you're looking up, for, uh, looking up to and, you know, what we're training for every day. So every day I look at those banners, every day I'm in that gym, you know, it's always thinking about main event opportunities, potential title fights, uh, you know, working towards being the best in the world. So, you know, I'm on the right trajectory. This is the first, uh, not the first step, but a good step in the right direction. And, you know, it all comes back to, uh, you know, my family, friends, coaches, everybody that supports me, you know, it really takes a village, a whole community, you know, uh, to know I have so many people that love and support me and, you know, it allows me to do what I do, it takes all that pressure off me so that I can truly, you know, when I walk out there, I don't feel the pressure of, you know, winning or losing. I just know that everybody that cares for me, cares for me for me and, you know, it allows me to enjoy the sport and be present for these moments. And another submission victory. I mean, definitely proving that that purple belt was way overdue, right? <laughs> yeah, um, you know, at the MMA Fight Academy, uh, from bell to bell, doesn't matter what position we're in, we're training to always look for the finish, right? So got a triangle off my back tonight, um, you know, showing that I have a diverse school, uh, diverse skill set with the wrestling, striking, clinch work, submission. So, you know, if you're getting in the cage with me, you can expect action and, you know, it doesn't matter where we're at, I have something for you. Did you actually see it in training when you were watching the tapes or did it just come about? Uh, you know, those are uh, those are repetitions we hit every day, you know. Uh, like I've said before, San Diego is one of the grappling hubs of the world. You know, getting the reps in at Studio 540 as well, training there and, you know, obviously with working with Coach Jake, man, he's, uh, he's a wizard on the ground, you know, picking his brain and being able to get all the little nuanced details and, you know, he's been with me since my very first fight, you know, here in Manchester and, you know, he's a great mentor, great person to look up to and, you know, to have him in my corner and helping me out is, uh, you know, it's an awesome dream come true. And also Mark Fury, like, shared with me how much, you know, he believes in you and in your future. How much does it help believe in yourself to see how someone like this believes you know, so much in you? Uh, Coach Mark's a legend of the sport, you know, uh, funny enough, um, first pay-per-view I ever watched was uh, UFC 60, uh, Matt Hughes versus Hoist Gracie. My dad uh, had just recently started jiu-jitsu and this was, uh, he got the pay-per-view and all my family and friends came over, we're all watching the fight and uh, in the main event, uh, Matt Hughes was fighting Hoist, he ended up winning and funny enough in the corner was, you know, Coach Mark and now today, uh, you know, 20, about 20 years later, he's coaching me and I was in my first Cage Warriors main event. And it's funny how, you know, the way life works and, you know, how interconnected everything is. So, you know, my, the first pay-per-view I ever watched, he was in the corner and now he's in my corner and, you know, how much he believes in me and, you know, supports me. It's uh, to have that, it builds my confidence and, you know, makes me want to work harder. And, you know, it just creates a positive feedback loop between all of us where we're, you know, constantly uh, rising together. Wow, unreal. And you seem completely uninjured. I know there's a few weeks left of the Contender Series. Is that something that interests you? If maybe there's like a last you know, minute I'm, uh, opportunity? I'm ready for any and all opportunities. You know, that's, uh, you know, that's not a call I make. You know, that's uh, to management. That's up to, you know, Oh, you could maybe hide. ask them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, definitely, uh, definitely open to all opportunities. Yeah. And whatever comes my way, I'm excited and, you know, ready for anything. These are the... Kind of moments I look forward to, and we'll just kind of see what uh, God has in store for me. Well, congratulations! That was amazing. Thank you.